People started lining up hours in advance to get their spot picked out for this year's Peacemaker Festival in downtown Fort Smith. Organizers say this year they're hoping to surpass the one million dollar mark for money that goes to local charities. Well, we got town yesterday, woke up this morning, had breakfast, come down here about eight. Travis Trumper and his friends were first in line waiting for the gates to open for this year's Peacemaker Music Festival. They drove all the way from Iowa to get here, and it's their very first Peacemaker Festival. I want to make sure we're up front to see Casper McWay today. You know, not a lot of folks get out and see him. I hope he, uh, I hope folks enjoy him today. Just uh, for the excitement, meet new people, have good conversation with people around you who enjoy the same music you do. Justine Jackson wasn't first in line, but it's also her first Peacemaker Fest. And it's the first time the festival is not happening during the heat of summer in June or July. It was a very smart decision. Like most people, the heat in the past, I just can't do 108 degrees. I heard it was like really hot last year. So this, for us, this is beautiful down here. Everyone is excited to pack the park on the banks of the Arkansas River to hear some of the hottest up and coming country and red dirt acts across the nation. And if you haven't heard of them, Odds are, you will soon. Joe Stan Band, uh, 49 Winchester, some of our favorites, Morgan Wade. Today, uh, Taylor Honeycutt. She just dropped a new EP today, so we're excited for that. Um, tomorrow, of course, Morgan Wade, the headline. I, I follow her everywhere. Police say they'll have an increased presence downtown to help with traffic and to help keep everyone safe. And if you need tickets, you can still get those online or here at the event. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.